come. First, I'm going to make sure you have that string. Well, I'm using string, but I'm going to make sure you have that because you're going to use that to go through. You're going to need your uh, thing that you're using for hair. I'm using thread for this, so. Take your string and fold it in half. Like that. And take the end with the loop and oops. What I do is poke a hole through with the needle first and then I take my crochet hook go in through and poke through the hole like that Now what you're going to do, hook your thread, pull it through, and you take this and lock it. This is what it looks like so far. goes <coughs> red orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. So yeah, and she has the widow's peak right there, like Nephra. And I just dropped her. So yeah, I am waiting for the glue to dry on the inside. I don't know if you can see that right there, the stitching. Yeah. So while you're waiting for the glue to dry on the inside, you can get started on repainting the face. You're going to need paint water, paper towel, some paint brushes, and your head. I am just doing a half repaint. So you're gonna take your tip and you're going to paint over the eyes first, whatever color you want. So I'm going to do blue. And I haven't opened it yet. So you want to take the paintbrush and go over it like so. You may want to do one or two coats of that, maybe. So, next we're going to do the eyeshadow. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your colors that you want it to be. I'm going to have her be have different uh, colors on each eye. So on this eye, I'm going to have it blue, 
then purple, then pink, and then on this side it's going to be yellow, then orange, then red to match her hair. And then for the lips, I'm going to do green. So, I'm going to take your blue color, or whatever color you decide to use, and start to paint it. This is why you keep a paper towel handy because I just got blue in the wrong spot. I don't know if you can see that because my camera is stupid but it is now on the eyeball. So yeah. And now what you're going to start to do is start blending the next color with the first color so that it looks more natural. Kind of like that. And then you're just going to do that with the next color over here also. Now, let's say that you don't have a color that shows up really well. Kind of like this one right here. The pink. It doesn't show up very well on the purple. What you can do is mix some colors. So I'm taking white, the light pink, and a dark pink. I'm going to mix them all up and create a color that shows up. A really good pink color. So now I'm going to take my brush and my doll. Keep it in the pink. And see how that turns out. And as you can tell, it shows up pretty well. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your other colors and do the same thing that you've done this side to this side. Okay, so pretty much what you're doing now is painting the head of what color or hair you want it and like where. So I'm just going to leave it pink for where, like I'm not going to paint it at all uh, where the pink hair is because the head is already pink. And then where, the, where I want all the purple hair to be paint it purple where all the red hair I want it to be red, orange, yellow and I haven't done green and blue yet so I'm going to do that now take your color and your paintbrush and you're going to get aligned with your colors. Okay, so now it's all painted the head 
and the eyes are most likely dry by now. So next what we're going to do is the eyelashes. And we're also going to be doing the pupils of the eyes. So what you're going to need is black and white and your fine tipped paintbrush. Before painting the eyelashes, I would suggest letting the head dry first. That way you don't get the paint all over and it shouldn't take too long to dry if you're using acrylic paints and you don't have that thick of a layer on. That way you can put the hair back out of your way and you don't have to worry about messing anything up. Okay, when you do this, you're mostly covering up all of your mistakes and then adding lashes on from that. It may take a couple of coats to actually cover it up. So I'm going to go do that and then show you what it looks like. So that's kind of what it looks like. can't really see it very well because my camera, but I'll have pictures. Another thing that you're going to do is touch up the pupil right there and then fix the highlights. So let's do that. Make sure you have your brush and black paint and fix the pupils first because it's a lot easier. There. And now you're going to put the highlight on. Rinse out your brush. Take the white paint. And you can pretty much make it any shape or like you can make it a circle like most uh, and then you like make it a heart or a star, diamond, really anything. So 